I'm Erin, and this is my amazing husband, Phil. Last year, we took our three kids out of their in-person schools and busy modeling careers so that we could explore the diversity of the world firsthand, instead of through books and movies. In our first 12 months as a nomadic family, we'll have traveled nearly 30 times, including eight trips internationally. In this episode, we continue our New England tour as we check out from our Nantucket home and spend one night in Boston before road tripping to Cliff House in coastal Maine. I'm glad we got to walk around a bit. Boston Commons was really pretty. Kids wanted to climb on all the trees. And then we got Brooklyn some new shoes because we're going hiking in Maine. And Cole got some new shoes too, but he had to pay for them on his own. Exactly. But now we're gonna hop in a rental car and head out of here on our way to Maine. We're going to Maine! start we're not lost at least not yet and uh, we're enjoying leaving Boston and seeing as much of it as we can on our way out building is absolutely beautiful. Look at these views. So we heard it was beautiful here and couldn't do it justice. This is gorgeous. Coming into the lobby and seeing these huge windows and the waves crashing over the rocks, more than what I could have expected. How about a full tour of the room? This is a three bedroom, two bathroom. First bath over here, but we're gonna start in this room, which has two kings. A little snack bar here, safe. This is a refrigerator in here. Closet space here, and this bathroom only has one sink, but it has a walk-in shower. And these robes, I love these robes. It's so lush and so soft. And I love that it's not your typical white robe that you get at hotels. Let's go back to the other side. It looks like they used to be two separate rooms, but now they've made it one big suite. And this has a big bathroom with two sinks, but a full tub, not a walk-in shower. Hi, I'll race you to the bed. <laughs> One big king bed in this room. So let's talk about that third bedroom. What's this over here? Let me show you. Hey, we got kids in here. <laughs> so this room has the two bunks and this couch is actually a queen pullout couch. So you could fit four kids in here and six other adults in the rest of the space. So you could pack a lot in. Right guys? Yep. Where are you sleeping? I think we're gonna sleep like here tonight. Yeah? In the bunk bed. Me and Cole agreed we're gonna take turns on the bunk bed. All right. I might do it on the last two nights so I get it two We've got plenty of space out. here. But in my opinion, the best part of this whole place are the views. There are three balconies total, one in each of the rooms, including the bunk room. It is so pretty how the waves crash against cliff rocks and shoot up in the air. Well, that's the room, but we are looking forward to taking you with us on the excursions and dining that we do while we're here. So stay with us. Hi, I wanna give you a tour of the resort, but first we're gonna start right outside of our hotel room at the main station. What's a main station? This is a main station, otherwise known as a coffee bar. So you'll find me here every morning getting my coffee and I'll be the only one because I'm the only one who drinks coffee. But let me show you the rest of the resort. It's gorgeous here.
on deck for today. Here are all the activities. Yoga, outdoor games in the afternoon, trail walks, which is beautiful around here because you get the cliffside, the ocean, and there's so much forest here too. Make a body scrub. I'm sorry, first I thought it was gonna say make a Bloody Mary. I read that wrong, body scrub. Afternoon movie. They have a movie here, a movie theater here, playing now, the movie Robots. It plays at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. every single day. Oh my gosh, I forgot. The most important thing that we are doing tonight, s'mores by the fire. You know why I forgot, I don't really eat dessert. I'm the only one that drinks coffee and the only one who doesn't eat dessert. I'm a weirdo. I love this hallway because it gives you a whole history of the resort. Starting at that end, you walk this way and you're reading chapter after chapter after chapter that this resort went through to get where it is today because there's a big difference from the first structure to where it is now. Heading into the main atrium, breathtaking views. And what I love so much about this resort is that almost anywhere you go, it is breathtaking views. Because we're up so high, you can see so much of the Atlantic. And sunrises in particular are stunning, they're gorgeous. Ceilings in this room are huge. And this fireplace over here, it is so charming and massive. I can just picture being here at Christmas time with the garland and the wreath, the Christmas tree, and Christmas in New England seems perfect. They have a signature restaurant here, The Tiller, and we've been there a few times, and it's delicious food, but again, breathtaking views. You wanna do what everybody wants to do when they come to a resort and you're on vacation, you wanna relax. Best place to do that is at the spa. Guests unwind before treatment in the luminous sanctuary surrounded by views of the cliff and infinite horizon. Unique skin, nail, and body treatments using the highest quality organic botanicals are available, all tying back to the natural wonders of nature. They have a spa gift shop, and if you could smell the scent in here, it relaxes you already. Embracing wild and free elements of coastal Maine, the spa channels a transformative interplay of water, stone, earth, and sky. It serves as an oasis for guests to rejuvenate and recharge through a circuit of saunas, steam rooms, and treatment spaces. It's so peaceful in here. I kind of want to take a nap right here, and I definitely would if I had a masseuse. I have a little fireplace too. But if you want to do the opposite of relaxing and you want to get your workout on, we head to the gym. This is my spot. This is my machine that I've been using every single morning that we've been here and will be here. And the view, breathtaking. But this is a full gym, not just for people like me that want to do cardio, they're for people like Phil that want to build those muscles too. <laughs> is that what you do with these? Yeah. You should put that down. I'm gonna put that down. That's not for me. Seven. Eight, nine, 100. Whew. I don't know if you heard me counting. I did a lot. <laughs> now for the fun part, I'm gonna take you outside. Breathtaking views. But my favorite spot is right down here. The kids wanna go here every day. Oh my gosh, a whale! I'm just kidding, there's no whale. But there could be. Kids want to come here every single day. Part of it terrifies me because it is at your own risk, but also it's beautiful and I want to be here myself. So here we go again, it's no surprise. Cause we know better than to all the dice. So take this love and try to make it new. You can fight it when it feels so true. Feels so true. Pretty much in the center of the resort, there's this big fire pit where we're gonna be doing s'mores later. Kids are super excited about that. And a coffee shop. So if you don't wanna use the main station, you can come down here and get a latte. 
Right around the corner is the swimming pool. This is the main outdoor pool. It's cliffside, infinity edge, and it's got a pretty good size hot tub. Also, right next to Nubs, yummy lobster shack. Pool's great, views are breathtaking, but what you really want when you go to Maine is a lobster shack. Nubs is the other signature restaurant that they have here, but mainly for lunch. It has all the staples for a lobster shack. Of course, the lobster, they've got the fried oysters, but the kids love the grilled cheese. They get that about every single day. Phil, peel and eat shrimp every day. So you do your order there, pick it up here, right next to the bar, and then this big open cozy dining room. And we're gonna make a big loop around. This is the indoor pool and hot tub. I would take you in right now, but I can't because it's being renovated. Pool's drained, kids are sad, everybody's crying, all hell's broken loose. For the art lovers, studio at the Cliff House, they have an artist in residence where you can buy fine art as well as take art classes and make your own. I don't know about you, but I'm going outside. This area is called the Cove. It is an infinity edge, ocean view, family friendly pool. It's got cabanas, a full bar, a substantial snack bar, but it's only open seasonally. So it's closed now and drained. Just missed it by a month. Since we're on the coast of Maine, we decided to pull in a little local culture and we chartered a little boat, a speedboat. Yes. It's a 23 foot catamaran speedboat to be exact. And it's owned by a place called Cove Runner. <laughs> <laughs> and what we're gonna do is take it out and visit a couple of lighthouses. Yes, there's a uh, Nubble Lighthouse, which is a little bit south from where we are, and Boone Island, which is really interesting. And that's out in the middle of the ocean. Both of these are very historic lighthouses. One's been in a movie. That's the... Ooh, which one? Nubble? Nubble. For which movie? Which is really just a nickname for the Cape Nettick Lighthouse. And the other one on Boone is really cool. Its history goes back to 1710 when there was a cannibalism incident related to a ship that crashed on that island. What? And that's when they first started talking about building it. Now, it wasn't until the mid-1800s that the current iteration of that lighthouse was constructed. And that was built to be 133 feet high, which makes it the tallest lighthouse in all of New England. We're gonna head down to the marina, get on our boat. I love this cute little blue house over there. It is so adorable and great views of this little harbor here. Hi, Captain Bob. Welcome aboard. Thank you, nice to meet you. Captain Bob was just telling us that there's a the, one of the lighthouse keepers was here for 32 years straight, basically not leaving the island at all. I don't know, perhaps not at all. I saw a story about another one and the lighthouse keeper died, his wife was still there and she remained on the island until she went mad from, I don't know, being alone or something. But but that's Boone Light, uh, Boone, Boone Island. This is the one that's 133 feet tall and Captain Bob can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was first built as a wooden structure in 1799 and then rebuilt in 1850s as the current concrete building. Some more seals over here, they're, they're so curious. They, they love how they pop their heads out. You can see them like all popping their heads out so tall to so get a curious. good look at us. Yeah, they are so curious. And when we were uh, coming up to the island, you could see them when they saw our boat, like all squirming yeah. to get down Some the rocks, yeah. to get in the water. And, yeah. It looks like they're spy hopping, which is something whales do. We have to say goodbye to the seals because we're going to head over to Nubble Lighthouse, right over there. 
So we're pulling up to the Cape Netic Lighthouse and the nickname is the Nubble, which is funny because it's like Hubble, which is a spacecraft, as is Voyager spacecraft. <laughs> and it just so happens that pictures of this lighthouse are on the Voyager spacecraft, which as of today is about 12 billion years away, 12 billion <laughs> miles away from Earth. So those pictures are intended to be I don't know, intercepted by extraterrestrials, I guess, in case the uh, spacecraft ever makes it their way. I think it is adorable. That is probably the cutest little lighthouse house I've ever seen, which is probably why it's the second most photographed lighthouse in Maine. I would live there. We're gonna have a leisure cruise back and look at all these gorgeous houses here. I'm gonna pick one. <laughs> We all made it back in one piece, Imagine. but not all the way. <laughs> the way that we're able to do all of these amazing travels is by being members of this great program that we talk about all the time. It's called Inspirato. That's right, we use their pass program. We pay a monthly fee and we're able to travel unlimited. So when we check out from one reservation, we're able to book our next trip. I have no idea where we're going next. Unlike a timeshare or hotel-based membership travel club, what we get is access to this amazing portfolio of very high-end homes, plus all of the amazing hotels and resorts like this one. But if you watch our channel, you see that a lot of times we're actually staying in these multi-million dollar mansions around the world. And there's no better way to travel. No better way to travel, especially because they also have concierge and trip planners that help you every step along the way. Everything goes smoothly with Inspirato. Most of the excursions that you see us taking, whether it's going scuba diving or renting a yacht for the day, these are things that are organized, planned, and even recommended by our Inspirato travel planners who are absolute experts. We know that when we take their recommendations, it's gonna be a very high-end experience with really good service. Yeah, they have yet to let us down. But make sure to subscribe, like, hit that notification button, comment below, ask us anything. We love talking about travel and we would love for you to follow us on all our journeys. And if you wanna learn more about Inspirato, go to followabc.com slash pass. Two years ago, we decided it was time for my ad agency to abandon the in-person five-day work week. So we 86 our office and work hours, allowing our own family of five to start traveling almost constantly. We now work, school, and explore in a new place every week. From our own mountain and beach homes to exotic villas, resorts, and yachts around the world. As we experience and support diverse cultures, we hope to inspire more families to design a life of freedom and adventure. Because there's a new American dream. It's one that's void of templated expectations, templated career paths, templated education, templated families, templated homes, and templated lives. Freedom's no longer American tagline. It's just the new global way of life. Every day that you spend doing something that doesn't fulfill you to your core, you're living your life on pause. You're deferring genuine family time with no guarantee that there will be a tomorrow or a someday. Some people follow that mentality their entire lives. We've chosen to never live that way again. We appreciate you following our journey. The more our channel grows, the more time we can spend traveling to more locations, contributing to these cultures, highlighting local businesses, and sharing inspiring stories from these communities. So please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing so that you can stick with us for the long haul.